Good afternoon to all. I continue our, our speech about Latvian artist Janis Rosenthal. In anticipation of the considerable anniversary of great Latvian artist, a study of the collection of this artist was carried out relating to both the work's value and their preservation. Janis Rosenthal has worked on the border of 19 and 20 centuries. Represented report reflects teamwork of Latvian State Institute of Wood Chemistry in my person, Lubova Belkova, and Latvian National Museum of Art in persons restores of uh, Zane Tucha, Velga Opole, and Una Kostanovska. The scope of Rosenthal's activities was very wide, but painting was a paramount importance. There are pictures, portraits, and landscapes with mythological story, but are more known and popular. And here you can see Arcadia and other uh, pictures. Graphic art was significant too. Janis Rosenthal's work in the region of design of books and magazines applied graphic art, posters, and drawings. Overwhelming collection of Rosenthal's artworks include a lot of graphic artworks of the different technique. At the end of 19th century and in the beginning of 20th century, the industrial production of paper had new technology, new raw materials, new treatments, new sizing, and uh, diversity of paper brands was very big. For today's restorers, these papers are often a big challenge and need to explore. In the preparation of the anniversary exhibition, there are 42 restored graphic works. The main conservation problem are the works are stored in pages without passepartout. Therefore, gain crumbling, cracks, and paint layers damage. Second, the work are glued on cardboard on this time, which has caused a strong oxidation of paper and consequently the brittleness of the work and poor adhesion of the color layer to the base. Gluing on the cardboard, the paper loses its specific properties and gains the others. Therefore, to find the most appropriate and sparing restoration process is very important to, uh, and therefore it is very important to understand the paper composition and properties. My units of graphic artworks have been chosen for paper investigation by SEM and by chemical method. Here you can see five work. Nude in 1897. This is illustration to the tail, and this is a uh, watercolor and sketch of lovely wife of an artist. Uh, 
this is for work loved wife oh, sorry loved wife again and illustration to the book and sketch this work was uh, done during 20 years and therefore paper was very different we have very small sample uh, paper samples uh, from two or uh, five millimeters in one direction but uh, we uh, do from 20 to 40 some images for each paper sample obtain some images of the paper mix structure allow to determine layer quantity fiber composition sizing and uh, we determine paper writing or technically brightness too here you can see the paper layers some artwork have two for example this and this two layers but this this three layers and very interesting these samples uh, you can see that uh, sizing forms additionally layer with fibers and after uh, watering for example samples uh, subdivided we use different magnitude but here is um, magnitude 200 this is common uh, picture of uh, fibers mass but we can see the whole fibers the damage fibers and destroyed uh, fibers all composition is uh, was used where uh, paper only product from that time this is another fibrous composition with wood samples. At magnitude 2000 or 5000, we can see the details of our fibers. For example, here is the damage fibers, here is fiber with destroyed surface, but this is fibers, whole fibers and destroyed fibers together. For example, this is whole fibers. Uh, flex fibers with characteristic ring. Destroyed fibers attach to paper density and softening but on the same time mechanical properties become worse if mechanical properties for art book is not so important but actions and influence of water during drying and action uh, by micro microorganism is different and uh, uh, during time this difference increase <coughs> this 
is surface of paper, strong sizing, and this is uh, what we see inside uh, paper. But here, for example, we see the serial fibers. Here is flex fibers. About sizing, question about sizing is uh, very important for restorers and uh, is difficult question because we have very small pieces and we cannot use a chemical method uh, what is uh, for big paper samples. But, sorry, but we have big experience and uh, for example, this is uh, surface of animal glue at uh, 5,000, we can see a smooth surface of this glue, but here is surface of wet past, wet starch past with pimples. Uh, here is uh, destroyed uh, sizing. Here you can see uh, separate uh, fibers. It is important for, uh, for fibers identification. <coughs> What these fibers is on the um, edge of paper. Uh, sometimes I especially tear uh, paper sample uh, to, uh, to receive separate fibers. And this is fiber uh, part element of uh, fibers elements and we see flex fiber with uh, a little damages. Not? Не двигается. Ага, here. What very interesting, uh, some image, we see here whole flex fibers and uh, destroyed fibers. And we know that uh, behavior of this mixture is, and uh, this part of uh, destroyed fibers and whole by uh, fibers is very uh, different. And uh, this is uh, wood particle, and we know if uh, paper have many particle of wood, the paper have has a brown color. And in that ca cases, it is not um, it is not uh, useful uh, to do whitening, whitening of paper because during one two uh, year brown color return again. Какую сторону надо?
Да, я... Ай, първи спет. То не може. Он да сме за ето ето. For b- briefly, uh, we see the table with common features of paper fibers and peculiarities of the paper. Name of hard work, year measured, uh, art work measured, technique, thickness from 0.13 to 0.68, fiber origin and sizing type. Besides, we determine brightness. For determination of the brightness, we use No. <laughs> uh-huh. we, uh-huh. we, <laughs> we use comparative scale of the paper brightness in ISO. We have collection of uh, old papers and almost old papers and modern uh, papers and we measure uh, brightness for all this paper and uh, uh, comparative scale you can see here. In our case, uh, our uh, artwork has brightness in that region. It is very convenient you, uh, you have very, very little uh, paper piece and we can't use, for example, scientific equipment for uh, brightness uh, determination. Uh, we go with the fact that uh, our samples may be uh, dumped by pencil by dye. In that case, uh, the brightness is uh, worse. No, it is approximately, but uh, I think that in our case, it is in, uh, enough. Enough. The detailed description of the condition for each artwork paper sample has been done. But for facilitation of restoration task, we were subdivided, investigated artwork on two groups, depends on fiber origin and common properties. The first group represents artworks on the paper with Rex fibers. The papers of this group are in more better condition, sizing animal glue, and additionally uh, wet past is used. The second group represents artworks with fibers of the mixture, rags, wood, grasses, sizing, rosin glue. Wet past was used in many cases for additional sizing. Paper conditions are worse in comparison with uh, artworks of uh, the first group. Conclusion. Each artwork of paper of Janis Rosenthal in our investigation has detailed description of the paper composition and of paper conditions and allow to estimate the degree of paper safety. It's very important that these parameters 
don't change almost in time. Investigated work is labor consumed and not cheap work, but it is advantageously because such work serves for long durational tasks. The results of of the investigation allow to accept correct resolution for restoration of the art object and are the expedient of the identifiability of the artworks. Thank you for attention.